the gallery of memories Pretending you're still mine It's a trick of a mind that's trying To hold on to a love that's dying Cause letting go means saying goodbye And I ain't ready for that My name's Mare. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I am in my car, so the lighting is probably not the moment. I am parked directly in front of a building that the sun is coming down upon, so sorry if you get like flashes of white and it scares you because I look like a ghost. Anywho, welcome to a fall spooky vlog. This is going to be so exciting because um, you're going to get lots of fall content in this. I am reading a spooky book, so I'm going to talk about that. Right now, I'm currently parked outside of a bookstore that is literally inside of a tiny house, and it's been 20 minutes up the road from me, and I had no idea until today because I was out running errands, and I was like, let me just see if there's a bookstore over here, and there is, and I'm so excited, so I'm going to take you in there with me, but yeah, what you can expect to see in this vlog is lots of fall vibes, lots of fall video. I went to this sort of bar, outdoor bar, that um, I thought was going to have a pumpkin patch, and it did not have a pumpkin patch. It had like five pumpkins and called it a day, but it's like an orange grove, and the orange groves obviously aren't in season right now but uh we went and there was just lots of fun things to do there was a uh, weird gators i live in florida so there's like you know always a weird gator thing going on but you can expect to see footage from that if you haven't already and footage from the bookstore we're gonna build a spooky gingerbread house my boyfriend and i at some point this week and hopefully watch some scary movies go and look at some spookily decorated houses and you can also expect to hear my thoughts on the change so this is a book that follows three older women harriet joe and nessa and they've all been kind of drawn together under a mysterious circumstance so they all have these mysterious powers and nessa finds them one day and it's like i think we're supposed to work together because her power is that she's able to find dead bodies because they call to her so she hears this dead body calling to her she gets these women together and it's a girl boss girl gang that is trying to uncover a serial killer in a small town so far i am 200 pages into it and i am loving it like it is so much fun it's very feminist and just spooky like it's got all the vibes that i want i love the witchiness to it and i'm excited to sit down and hopefully read more of it today i'm gonna go to a little coffee shop in a bit read a little bit of it but yeah come along with me for this october time this is my first time wearing a sweater all year it seems like because i once again live in florida and it's hot down here but we got a cool front cold front we got a cold front that came in i don't know when it came in but like i woke up this morning and i was like Oh my god, I can wear a sweater. So it was very exciting to me. Anyways, let's go to the bookstore. Take me downtown and drown me in the lights. I need a remedy, some melody song by faces that I don't recognize. I find someone new to go home with. We both know why I'm looking for a friendship. And when it's on, I'm running for the exit back into the blue. Cause all that I up dropping off my dress to get altered for my sister's wedding so she'll be ready in two weeks um excited to see her because I, i'm not gonna lie guys i felt hot when i put that dress on today it's just really really long and i'll trip over myself if i wear it at that length so she had to go get altered after that i ended up going to a bookstore this cute little independent bookstore oh my god i'm obsessed i'm gonna go back i ended up even buying this tote bag. I've been looking for a tote bag like this for a while where it's like that neutral tone but like it also shows everyone. Hi, I guess I'm a reader. 
I guess I support local businesses. You know what I mean? Like it's the exact vibe I was going for and it was 15 bucks. So I was like, absolutely I need this. I did also purchase a book while I was there because I felt like I had to, okay. I almost picked up The Winners by Frederick Bachman, but I decided I'm not ready to read about that trauma. So instead I picked up another book that will probably also be traumatic, which is A Scatter of Light. So this is by Melinda Lowe, who also wrote Last Night at the Telegraph Club. And I read that a long time ago on my channel. I think it was on my, our Amazon book recommendations, actually good video, which I'll tag in the cards and leave in the description if you're interested. I loved that book. It made me so sad. It made me so happy. Like, it just made me feel all the feels. And so I knew I had to read A Scatter of Light when I heard about it. And I'm just so stoked about this. I think it's going to be so heartfelt and just going to wrench my gut out, but like in the best possible way. So this actually features the characters from Last Night at the Telegraph Club, but six years into the future. So it surrounds, I believe, the legalization of gay marriage. Yeah. So this one follows Arya and Steph, and it looks like they're gonna spend a summer together that is going to change their whole life course. I just loved the backdrop of Last Night at the Telegraph Club. I love the historical elements to it and how you could see these two women really wanted to be together, but it was something that society did not allow them to do. And so that's what made it so heartbreaking was just like this love that they had for each other that couldn't be shared because of the public's eye. And so I have a feeling a lot of similar things is going to happen into this book, but I'm really excited to see where those two characters are six years into the future after the legalization of gay marriage. And I'm just so excited. I haven't heard any like reviews of this. I've heard a few people talking about it and like it coming out, but I haven't actually heard anyone read it. So I might pick up this one soon, honestly. Um, the cover's beautiful. And then after I went to the bookstore, I went to Goodwill because I had to drop off some donations and I'm, I did a little shopping when I was there. In my defense, I don't buy clothes often. I pretty much only buy clothes from the thrift store and I needed a few new basics. So I ended up getting this skirt, which I actually do own in like a denim color. Um, but this is actually from Target. I know it's from Target because I bought this skirt in the denim color before and I just thought it was so perfect for fall like the orange It's gonna be so cute. And then I also got a super cute sweater It's just like this nice cream color and I like that. It's kind of cropped but also like it's not cropped So I don't that wasn't a good explanation But I just felt like this was a really basic color that I could pair with anything and I live in Florida it gets hot. It's really not cool ever. So I liked that it was a light material and I could like layer it if it was colder outside. And then I just got this pair of jeans, which is like really not exciting at all. I'm pretty sure they're Old Navy brand, but like I love me some Old Navy jeans. You can never go wrong with a nice pair of Old Navy jeans. And I only have like one pair of jeans that don't have a rip cell up the legs. So oh God, I just gotta love like cramped. I felt justified in my purchase. It was all like under $20 for all of that. I spent more at the bookstore to be honest with you. So yeah. <laughs> I started filming this because I wanted to tell you about the change because after I went to Goodwill, I ended up going to a local coffee shop, sitting down and just reading for an hour or two. So I am now on page 352. So my goal for tonight is to finish this dang book. She's a chunker, okay? She is like so long and she doesn't have the right to be. That's kind of how I'm feeling about this book right now because like I was really enjoying it in the beginning and don't get me wrong, I'm still enjoying it. However, I want Miss Kirsten to stop taking her dang time. I want her to speed this up a little bit. This process is starting to become a little bit more like agonizing. Like, I'm like, how many more pages are there? Like, I feel like not a lot of plot has happened to justify this book being so long. A lot has happened, you know? A lot's changed. However, do we really need almost 500 pages of like a mystery novel? We don't. And it seems like the mystery is like mostly figured out and it was mostly figured out halfway into the book. And there's obviously more at play here, but like there's just so many layers and intricacies to this mystery that I just feel like were unnecessary. Yes, I'm still getting the vibes, like I'm getting the witchiness and I'm getting the murder mystery aspect and like it's doing the October thing that I wanted it to do. But like, 
I want to move on to the next book. I'm, I'm wanting to finish this because I'm really liking it, but I'm also like, God, why am I reading this for hours and I still feel like I'm on page two. I think this one is not going to get the five star that I thought it would when I first picked it up. It's probably going to get closer to a four, but like still, still loving her. Um, I just wish for her to be done. I'm going to go, um edit some vlog footage, gonna go watch some Miss Olivia read the latte, maybe have some wine, we'll see what the night holds. But um, I have about two or three hours before my boyfriend gets out of work, so I'm gonna have to, you know, fill the void until then. We'll see how we spend it. Hey guys, um, we are here to continue this spooky vlog because we have this little spooky haunted house that's probably gonna taste like garbage, but that looks like really, really fun. That looks like a lot of fun. That's how you say that. Um, this is Chase. Hello, I'm Chase. Do you want to introduce yourself? I did. Tell me your favorite fun facts about yourself. I don't have any. Okay, this is Chase. This is Sorry, my boyfriend. Bud. I just want to eat all the candy is the problem. But it's for decoration. Get this spooky orange icing, some spooky sprinkles. They only give you three Hershey kisses. <laughs> this single yeah, it says it all tiny right here. chocolate bar. I know, but like, I expected a little bit more. Oh no! <gasps> <laughs> it's broken. Oh well, we're gonna try anyways. Every time I build like a gingerbread house, it just falls apart. Like I'm not very good at this. I think that's a common theme among these <laughs> things. Okay, and stick. How long do you have to hold it? I don't know, I'm scared to let go. <laughs> oh no. Wow, that looks like a house to me. We just made this house a home. This is the final product. I think she's cute. Okay, so besides the spooky gingerbread house, we did one more thing. It was like a little dig kit that I got from the dollar section in Walmart, but there were toys in it. What'd you get? A skull <laughs> ring and then a cool spider. Ooh. Wow. Was it worth all that time and energy? Yeah. Hi there, folks. So, I am going to be sitting on my beanbag chair because I'm getting my makeup uh, done for the day. So it's gonna be a little loud, but you know what? That just means it's like party ambiance and we're gonna have a good time. So I need to wrap up this vlog. I feel like I did so much, but also so little at the same time. So I hope you enjoyed all the like spooky fall vibes. I have been having a blast. I even like am wearing some like autumnal colors because I wanna have a spooky fun time today still, um, but I'm not really doing anything that interesting that I need to vlog. I need to like, Start looking for apartments because my lease is up in the middle of January, so need to do something about that. But now I need to tell you about the book that I wrote for this vlog and what I thought of it. I ended up finishing the change. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I want to say I gave it three and a half stars maybe. It's been a while since I finished it. I think I finished it like three or four days ago. I just like haven't thought about it since and I thought that this book would be one that was more impactful but I just thought that the ending was so all over the place and it wasn't really something I loved. Like I didn't hate it. There were definitely a lot of aspects to this book that I really, really liked. I think just the pure length of this book and the amount of times we reached a conclusion but then that wasn't actually the conclusion was just kind of irritating and I feel like it took away some of the like feminist takes that Miller was trying to portray in this book. Do I think it's bad? No. Do I think it's the spookiest thing I've ever read? Also no, but I am glad I read it. I think it was definitely a good fall book recommendation. I just think that the beginning of this book was so incredible that the ending honestly rather disappointed me, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna leave it at a three and a half star. I would definitely read by this author again. Um, but this just wasn't what I was hoping it would be, unfortunately. As far as the rest of my day, yeah, like I said, I need to do some apartment searching. I'm probably gonna film a booktube video too because I haven't haven't done a sit-down video in a while. And I'm like feeling like dressing up today and I don't have any plans, so 
what better to do but yeah thank you guys so much for watching let me know what spooky fall activities you have been up to this october do you have any suggestions for what i need to do before the end of fall i definitely want to do a lot of fun themed winter content as well i love christmas it's my favorite season i've already started buying decorations and they will be going up november 1st so thank you again so i'm going in circles here but thanks for watching love ya bye